Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I last uploaded, almost a month in fact, I think. But as I said in the last video, I have been working on a brand new map. And, well, it's ready. There has been a slight change of plan. Because, well, to cut it short, the game stopped working. And by the time I had sorted it out, which was about two weeks ago, um, I'd lost all my save files. Now, the plan was originally for, to be recreating Kent. Well, obviously, when the save files were lost, that went down the drain. But, yeah. I, I'd practically given up on it then. So, I've just been playing it for a while. And, well, just a few days ago, I found this map I'm currently on at the moment on the workshop in game and yeah I've been editing it now for about a day and brought it and it's now on the in game workshop So, yeah, we've just been looking at Penzance and St. Ives, down in one corner, well, I'll say in the corner of the map. Yeah, I found a map of the entire UK. And this is the map we're going to be playing on. Now, I've no clue who made the original map, but... Thank you very much, because it made my job a whole lot easier. Unfortunately, there were a few slip-ups to try to deal with. For example, this is a gem. Um, right. Here we go. Derby is there. The most spurt up on Trent is there. Really, it's meant to be where is Utoxter. Is that it? Is that how you pronounce it? Don't know, but anyway, it's meant to be where I'm going to go with Utoxter is. The reason I've put it so out of place is because of Tamworth, which is down over here. Which is meant to be here. The only reason it isn't there it's because of Birmingham, which was on the original map. Now, I'm not laying any blame on whoever made this map. Because it is a really good map. And the terrain is perfect for this game. And I know that with so few towns, it is very hard to get the placements correct. So, I can't blame you. Birmingham. It's meant to be in the middle of a country, which it is. So, yeah, I applaud whoever made this map. Because, I mean, to get the detail of the islands, I'd never be able to do that. So, yeah. If whoever made this map is watching... I'd very much like to know. Anyway, as I said, we are going to be recreating the British Railways. And, keeping with where I started with the editing, I figured, why not start here? And if you didn't notice, I opened the video here. Penzance and St. Ives. Now, there is a map I've been using and that is the new Adelstrop rail map. 
which unfortunately doesn't do Ireland, doesn't do Scotland. In fact, it only goes up as far north as York. But I am told by some a very reliable source of information that it is updated regularly. So I'm hoping that by the end of this series, it will be complete and I can get the railways inch perfect. So yeah, that is just the section down there. And yeah, just look at London there. That mess of railways is London. This mess of railways is Birmingham. And this mess of railways is Manchester and Liverpool put together. That's how close they are. And then you've got Sheffield down here. Uh, God, I'm struggling without the curse of open DDD provides. And Bradford and Leeds over here. So surprisingly, York isn't a mess of railways. And yeah, then you've got the Nottingham Derby. So yeah, this is going to be the map we are using to recreate railways. And we are going to start with the GWR mainline. Because, well... It's the oldest mainline in the world. Isn't Bar Kingdom Brunel built it? No other mainline existed. Except for Manchester to Liverpool, but that's nowadays just class. Well, there are several lines that make up Manchester to Liverpool. So you can't tell which what is the oldest. So anyway. I'm hoping that today we can get as far as maybe Falmouth or maybe Par. I'm not sure, but given we've already been through seven, eight minutes, we'd better get started. Ah, uh, no, I do not want Google Play. Oh, God. there you go. Recalibrate. Right, start in Penzance. And we'll go for a rural station. Right, I'm going to just go through the settings, and I'll meet you back. Right, there we go. Settings are sorted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... And then we'll have the free. Now we'll only have one here. Because it is the end of the line, and it's not a line which I expect to be used that much. But anyway, there, Penzance and Saint Ives. Thank you. 
Now then. Ooh, we've got a fair few. Probably just go with the copper knob for this route, given that it is so short. There you go. Penzance to St. Ives. No, I'm not going to hold them up. So, yeah, there is our first train. Now then, at True Road of Branch Line comes down to Falmouth. I'm sure you saw. And yeah, I'm hoping to make it as far as par today. And get the first section of a line running. Now, if the main line didn't have to go through Bodmin, I would make it to Plymouth. But I'm trying to cut these to half an hour an episode. Which I don't know how successful it would be normally. But anyway. Oh, and um, in the comments, thinking about Eurovision, do you think the Netherlands deserve to win? So yeah, all the measurements are switched to Imperial. Just because we're in a we're on a British map. How oh, would you look at that? So that is true row connected. Now can we get Falmouth? Would be wonderful if we could. Come on. Right, and here we go. So then, that is 
is another branch line built. And we'll get another train on there. This time probably go over Metropolitan. And some fancy six wheel coaches. So in Truro and Falmouth. Turn the speed up. We're still in January of 1900. Here, at the moment, I think I'm happy. And actually, I got through that a lot quicker than I expected. I think that is what that bit would look like. Oh, come on. And not bad, if you say so yourself. Hmm, I've not got the best of relationships with St. Austin. That's just because Pa is, at the moment, the end of the line. Uh -huh. 
Moment. Wow. Come on. Give me a break. Anyway. Now, I'm deliberately not putting a signal there until Truro Town Council will give us permission to build an extra platform here. Because I need this train to stop somewhere, don't I? Yes, I do. Getting the Klondike. So, because it's only 90 miles per hour, this is going to be a stopper train. That's mostly going to be if they're going to make a profit. Wait, you call that par? Oh dear. Oh dearie me. I should have checked the names. Hey, some people are waiting at St. Ives. And you are just par. So yeah, I reckon that is possibly going to be it for today. Next time I'm guessing we'll build a branch line out branch line out to New Key. Maybe extend the main line as far as Exeter? I have no clue, but if we do, that would mean building a branch line to Torquay. So yeah, episode after that, I want to 
be up in Bristol, maybe Yeovil. But the main goal for episode 3 will be building the West Somerset Railway. Um, we're going to have to reach Barnstable and Ilfracoon somehow. But yeah, it's all looking very promising. Right, let's check Penzance. What is your timetable? I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. Okay. You're fairly regular as well, aren't you? I mean, if you weren't, I'd be a bit worried. So, yeah, I've been the last of trans. This has been the start of our UK map and enjoy your day or evening depending on when you're watching this. Goodbye.